Hello, welcome to this blessed day of the Lord. I came today to let you know that our God is good, our God is faithful, and that whatever He does is perfect. You were created for a purpose, you were created in His image, and so there is no reason you should look down on yourself. While taking the series, I can't be ignored. I have realized that many people are full of potentials. They have what to offer. But simply because either the friends, the peer group, or someone he or she looks up to is not validating what she has or he has, and the person tends to look down on himself or herself. In this series of teaching, I'd like for you to know that no man can ignore you. You cannot be ignored in life. The Bible says, if God be for you, who can be against you? And sometimes someone does not acknowledge that you are existing and all of that. But sometimes the feeling that you are ignored may be intentional. Sometimes may be unintentional. Now, if it is unintentional, it simply means that you are not given to that person at that point in time. It means that God is going to connect you to someone that you need, that will help you, assist you on your journey through life. So you don't have any reason to suck. I mean, and even if you are intentionally ignored, someone just purposely decides to look down on you. The joy is that there is something that you have that is worth jealousy. There is something you have that is intimidating. That is why the person has taken extra time to make you feel bad. And so you should not play into the person's goal. You should tell yourself that you know who you are. And because God has not ignored you, then you should not allow yourself to feel down, to feel bad. And what you should, you should do, you, you, you have not been doing. I came here with the message of the Lord to let you know that you are full of potential. You do not need man's validation to make you rise. Jesus said, when I go, I will give you the Holy Spirit. As a matter of fact, the Holy Spirit is the right person that you need to give you the thumbs up to do the things you need to do in life. I would not like you to live on the earth and after the number of years that God sent you, you would have departed and men will forget you. Whereas you were full of potential. And the reason you could not do it was because there was nobody to clap for you. There was nobody to tell you, oh, well done, and all of that. You are who you are in God, and you've got what it takes to excel. And for some people who take delight in ignoring people, in making people feel bad, here is what the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 10. It says, be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love in honor, preferring another. Verse 3 of that scripture says, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought to think. It is when you think that you are, only, you are the only cock that crowds. So if anybody rises up to be like you, you feel bad and you, you, know, you, you try to show attitude. By this teaching, I'd like for you to be encouraged knowing that God sets you upon the earth to affect life. And that thing that you think does not matter is what your generation is waiting for. So rise, put up your cloak of encouragement and do not feel ignored because Jehovah God has not ignored you.